Hi there, I'm Amanda Caster with Material Girl Quilts. Today I'm going to share a tutorial with you to make a travel tissue holder. These are super simple to make and all you need is this one scrap of fabric. I think um, these are great for, they would be good for stocking stuffers, for your secret Santa, or gifts for the people in the office, or your hairdresser, whatever. Everyone uses uh, Kleenex at one point or another. So I think these would be a great get, small gift to add to anything. We're gonna have, you can make this two ways, in a simple pocket option like this, or I'm also gonna show you how you can add a uh, swivel clip to the end so that you can clip it on the inside of a backpack or a work bag and keep it handy. And when you need a tissue, you just reach in, pull it out, and there it is. So let's get started. Okay, what you'll need to make these travel tissue holders is one scrap of fabric that measures six and a half inches by nine and a half inches. And if you're wanting to add the swivel clip, you'll need um, to purchase the swivel clip. I, you, This brand that I use is Dritz, and I'll put a link to um, what I purchased in the video description. And you will also, um, the, and on these, the D-ring on these cl uh, clips is a half inch. So if you're using these clips, you will need a ribbon or cording or a, something else that's at least a half inch or smaller. And the length that I cut mine was two inches. Okay. Now to make our tissue, travel tissue holder, you will lay your uh, piece of fabric right side down on your ironing uh, board and you will do a double fold on each of the short ends. And that double fold will measure about three eighths of an inch. And then you press. You do this for both ends. And once you've pressed your double folds, you'll take it to your sewing machine and top stitch approximately a quarter of an inch from the edge. Now we'll top stitch on the other end. Okay, and now that you have both of your ends sewn down, you will Lay it wrong sides down on your table and fold so that each end meets and they actually just slightly overlap each other. And then you will pin in place. And if you're wanting to attach the uh, swivel hook, this is where you'll do it. So you will slide your ribbon through the D-ring of your swivel hook and then you will open up the opening of your tissue holder and slip it inside, place it in the center, and get all of your layers back down and make sure that these ends are overlapping and then you will pin them in place. And you wanna make sure that your ribbon is staying straight so I typically use two pins on this end and then you will sew both ends close at a, with a seam that's approximately 3 eighths of an inch. And I'll do the other side. Make sure you pull your pins out of the way when you're sewing. Okay, now that we have both ends sewn up, you will take your scissors and clip um, the edges, the corners here, making sure that to not cut beyond the sewn line. 
You'll just trim those corners so that it's easier. Once we turn this right side out, it'll make nice fresh points. So now you simply turn it right side out. And you can use a pointer to poke out the corners. And there is, oh, we didn't get this corner poked. There we go. And there's your completed tissue holder. And now all you need to do is insert some tissues. You can um, remove these from the plastic before you put them in if you want, but I just like to keep them in the plastic just to protect them a little more. And there you go. There's your completed tissue holder. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when new tutorials go live. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.